Knowing this could save you hundreds of dollars. This is my Arco Air two stage, 90% forced air natural gas furnace that heats my home. And it was having a very weird problem. It was quickly short cycling and my Nest thermostat was even giving me an error. Now, once I started noticing this, I was also noticing that in my home, I was getting a burn smell. It smelled like a pot left on the stove for too long. It wasn't an electric smell. It was a very strange smell that I hadn't smelled before. Many HVAC guys will tell you that that's just the dust burning off. But this smell continued throughout my house for a few days. And the dust would probably burn off in a few hours, not days. So I came and sat in front of it and found out that it was kind of short cycling. So I took off the covers, taped the safety button right there, and watched the system. And when it short cycled, I looked to the board and noticed right there... That LED blink four times. That four time blink tells me that the system is overheating and that this safety right there went off either because it's broken or because it was overheating. And as I started watching the system, I noticed something weird with the motor running the fan, which many HVAC guys call the squirrel cage. I started suspecting the capacitor and I tested the capacitor and found out that it was bad. I'll show you how to test that in a second. This is my new capacitor that I'm running in emergency mode just to see if my system works right. Before working with any capacitor, make sure that you dissipate all of the capacitor's energy by touching the two leads together with a piece of conductive metal. This will dissipate all the energy so that you don't accidentally touch this side and this side and hurt yourself. For this troubleshooting step, I'm gonna use my Tesman TCM300D. This is the T RMS. This unit was uh, sent to me to test by the manufacturer and actually has become slowly one of my main everyday DIY meters. I really like it. I use my professional meters every day at work, but those stay in the box and now I keep this in the house as my main meter. So let's go ahead and turn it on real quick. And this is what I like about it. You can go in here and then go into the, uh, uh, you gotta wait for the auto to set up. And then we're gonna go to capacitance and that's this symbol here. Okay, and these type of capacitors are really easy to test. This is a 10 microfarad capacitor and it only has two sets of leads. They're the kind that have three sets of leads and uh, I'll show one day how to test those. But for right now, all we gotta do is put our leads on those two sets of metal uh, connectors up on the top and read what it says. And look at that, we're getting 2.1. Uh, microfarads. That tells us that this capacitor is far from being 10. With that information, we know that this is a bad capacitor and that a new capacitor needs to be installed. And that's actually what fixed my system.